How does a father tell your daughters, with all the love you have for them, that you're going to, you just found something out that could take your life, that's taken the lives of their relatives, their loved ones? Well, I'm going to die of something. <laughs> I'm sure that comforted them. <laughs> well, I, I mean, Thanks, that's, Dad. that's real. <laughs> but, but what happened, Dr. Oz, was there was a series of people, doctors, physicians, a great team. I uh, wanted to wait until I definitively had more information. So I didn't immediately tell my daughters. I did immediately tell my former wife. And I kept, kept her informed all the way because I have the BRCA2 mutations. So I didn't want to call them along the way. I wanted to call them when I had something definitive to say and not frighten them that, through this process. What did you say to them when you had to explain to them that you had a gene mutation that if they had would also predispose them to really high incidence of breast cancer and pancreas cancer and melanomas and some of the other issues that come along with it? Well, they were very, very uh, loving and caring about it, obviously, I'm their dad. But also growing up in our household, because I used to sell the equipment, they used to hear this all the time about early detection, early detection. So they did go get the test, and they are okay. Oh, good. That's fantastic news. That is the best news a dad could ever get. Yeah. <laughs>